Hit the like, hit subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Welcome back to the Xeophobic 73 channel and this is setting up a child account on the PS4. Now, as this video was requested again by the voices of the community, this is basically when you are in a family management situation and you have deleted an old child account and you want to create a brand new child account for a family member, uh, this is from the get-go. So as with all my tutorial videos, everything pertaining to the parental controls and family management as always begins in the settings. So we head over to Printer Controls Family Management and we then go into Family Management. Set up your family. So you click on to set up now. If you wish to read the text there, by all means do. Add a family member and we click on to select who you want to add to your family in this case it's a preordained user profile called a child and they can change that name if you wish but for the purposes of this video I'm going to keep it select your date of birth now be truthful um, put in the child's actual um, date of birth now I'm not saying that you should alter it but I don't have control over what certain individuals do, so be truthful, it's more honest, it's better to be honest and you won't breach Sony's terms and conditions by lying. So you can see the applications and devices that you're going to preset, we've seen these a dozen times, so I'm not going to go through them too much on this tutorial, so we are going to confirm and again it just allows your child to join the PlayStation Network uh, allow or accept later and again just summarize the account information social privacy marketing and persuasion uh, third-party services and broadcasting blah 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 um, and then network features communicating with other players networking content created by other players and monthly spend limit Again, you can just review those by allowing or not allowing or setting up the monthly spend limit as well. Again, we've seen these a dozen times. And once we're happy with those settings, we then hit confirm. Set your time zone for whatever, what area of the world you live in, in which case this is my case, it's Dublin. Uh, set it to adjust the time and date automatically. Uh, set your playtime duration and also your time each at each play session as well you can set the duration and playable hours as well and once that's set up that you then uh, tells you if you add you'll be able to see the real name I'm on ID and your avatar uh, so again accept the Peggy terms and conditions in regard to age limit restrictions and hey presto that is your child now added as part of that family management that in entirety is it. That is pretty much the video in its entirety. Uh, the family management, this section that we're looking at now, is just uh, gives you your parental settings, joining PlayStation Network. Now, just to reiterate, so if you go into the family management, this uh, preview, so to speak, uh, gives you um, your playtime settings, which again, you can adjust. Um, for the purposes of this video, we're going to speed on past that. You'll see the timeline, uh, the time zone setting, uh, application save data, etc. So we've seen these settings before. Again, we'll uh, scroll on by. These are the interesting ones: the family member information, which tells you whether it's joining the PlayStation Network, and this is the one that everyone has been. Um, itching to find out about because ultimately it deletes the profile there it is on the very bottom is delete user profile so in doing so when you delete the child's user profile the following user on this PS4 and their save data screenshots and video clips will be deleted and then yes or no so obviously click OK to delete that and then you're back to the setup of your family uh, member screen again right back to where we started 
Well guys, that's it. That's the video in its entirety. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to, that cleared up the issue that you're all having in relation to deleting um, your child's account from the family management. Um, so a few more videos will be coming shortly. Um, one of them will be the updated version of the um, how to delete um, your user in the family manager. That will be fairly, uh, fairly soon. Uh, so until that one, thanks very much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Thanks now. Bye bye.